Okay, I'm here with Mark Clement of Waikato Haulage in the mighty Waikato. Mark, it's been uh, a, a, quite a while since, uh, probably nearly nine years since I first walked into the office over there and uh, introduced myself and showed you the, the, the automatic greasing system product that we uh, developed here in New Zealand. It's um, uh, something that you, you caught your eye. Mostly I think it was, uh, first of all, this, the fact that you could use a standard workshop grease and that would suit your industry, you thought of it better. Have you been happy with the uh, decision you made? Yeah, yeah, we have, Bill. That's been, um, yeah, it's, it's been real good for us. Um, like you say, it's 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 a workshop grease EP2 which we use. Um, we have other systems with zero which which we airplane and still use. Um, yeah, just EP2 grease is one grease in the workshop, which is easier. Drivers don't get it wrong. Um, and in, in our game, up and down gravel roads, all that, and and out of tanker tracks, yeah, the EP2 seems to be working fine, especially with a bit of age on it. Yeah, no, that, that's good to know, Mark. And, and have you found that also just in general with having automatic lubrication systems in, in your operation, in a rural operation, that it makes it easier for you to manage your, your fleet when things are busy and you don't really get time for that A service? Yes, it yeah. does, because the, the drivers, you know, these days don't come to the workshop every three or 4,000 k's to get a grease. Um, trucks do 30,000 k services, so the truck's getting greased, you know, while it's working, so... Yeah. No, it's the ultimate. That's that's good. Okay. Oh well, that's great, Mark. Well, we really appreciate your business over the years, and and thank you very much. Long may it continue. Yep. Thank you.